boys and girls, we're here with Noah and Shane, and this is Seriously Super, Super Stupid Sleepover! I can't believe your mom lets boys sleep over. Alright guys, let's play some games. We're gonna play Would You Rather! I got Marvel's. the cards, I got the cards. Okay. Would you rather live in a world with no video games, or live in a world with no TV or movies. Which post-apocalyptic hell would you rather live in? <laughs> Here's my logic, okay. Uh -huh. So video games have, they're becoming more cinematic and they have mm -hmm. like a story and a character that you can fall, fall in love with. And so I think I would do a world without TV and movies. If there's no TV or movies, does that count as YouTube? I think it's a, a question between which form of entertainment the world will have. I'd have to choose a world with no TV or movies. Like I honestly, without video games, I think I would sit in a room for like six to eight hours, just not knowing what to do. It comes down to like, Last of Us or Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> and like, Cheers is a really good show. I have to stop you guys! I, I would live in a world with no video games! Because Homeland is my favorite show! And I can't live without Mel Gibson! He would still be alive, I think! No! Yeah, still your ass. No! Why'd you guys start off with Sophie's Choice? What did she end up choosing in the end? I haven't actually seen the movie. Oh, I think she went with the club sandwich. Would you work your dream job for $10,000 a year or work your nightmare job for $500,000 a year? Oh, I'd go straight into nightmare town. What? Like my nightmare is literally my job is like working at a diaperless baby care facility. <laughs> Like, I would do that for $500,000 a but year. But see, I think that's a job so long. you'd start it off and after like the 10th day, you'd find like the reward in it. You'd be yeah. like, you know what? I, this is rewarding work. <laughs> I'm doing good work here. I guess a big question is what your nightmare job is. Yeah. Mine is executioner. Follow I don't that. think I could kill somebody for any amount of money. I would choose my dream job for $10,000. I feel like the worst job would probably be telling people that they have diabetes. What? <laughs> Specific, do you mean just like- I don't the, think that's a job. Maybe, I think maybe <laughs> yeah. the doctor who There's says There's a line of news. people, you have diabetes. Bad news doctor might be you a job. You have diabetes. I'm just imagining this doctor that's just like, so what do I have doc? And he's like, oh, hold on. And he's like, he's like, uh, Olivia, Olivia. <laughs> and Olivia just walks in, she's just like, you have diabetes. And then walks <laughs> out all awkward. And they're like, who was that girl? And the people who know like that she's the person who does that. Like, they're the like, oh, like, not, oh her. not her. Oh, not her. Oh, no. Oh, please, God. I mean, I think I would choose my nightmare job. I pretty much already had it. Like when I was working at a pharmacy, so it's like every day giving Viagra to old people. <laughs> And, and, and then they wink at you. And being like, have a good weekend. <laughs> except, in, except in this scenario, they're like, thank you, here's $500,000. <laughs> yeah. Would you rather, A, live in a tent uh, the rest of your life, but retain the ability to travel anywhere in the world whenever you can afford it, or live in your dream house and never leave the United States? Dude, I would love my dream house. My dream house would be like, a huge property with like horses and, and I just have, like it'd be in the perfect location in the US. There's some pretty beautiful things in this country. You don't have to travel all the way to a certain place just to see like what this beautiful here. I'd go in the US, I'd have my dream home be the US and it would just be the entire property of Yosemite <laughs> National Park. Wow. <laughs> just drilled into the dome. Yeah, just the like right, dome. just a cave. I wanna like make a volcano so that I can have the League of Doom. My dream house would be a giant cabin in Alaska. There's like a, a monorail that goes all the way down to LA and it's like a speed, like this is like Oh, green, like some Elon Musk house. shit? And it goes like, at the speed of light. You have your okay. personal See, subway? You have light speed? Like I have a teleporter and I can go anywhere in the US at any time I want. For me, my expectations are pretty low. Like I don't really have a lot of standards. So <laughs> <laughs> I just like want to live in like a two bedroom home in Pasadena <laughs> with a, a in garage. In Pasadena? This one's actually my favorite one so far. Yeah. So we get to choose either ghosts are confirmed to be real. Nice. Or aliens are confirmed to be real. Ooh. So we get ghosts or we get aliens. Tomorrow, Obama right there, he gives this speech. Either guys, like I woke up in the middle of the night, you'll never guess who I saw. It was my grandpa, he's dead, here's his ghost. We just proved that we, their ghosts are f***ing real. Or, hey guys, you'll never guess what happened. I woke up and there was an alien in my room. Or, There's aliens now. Or Obama would be like, oh, America, <laughs> I have an announcement. And then he's just like, and he he's, is the alien oh, ghost. Oh, he would be an alien, man. I might, I might have to go with ghosts. 
that's just ridiculous. I feel like ghosts are not as intimidating as aliens because aliens can literally like they could come and like take over our planet, whereas ghosts can just like take over a body. You get an exorcist, whatever, it's fine. I just think people always think that they're always gonna be evil. And I'm like, what if a ghost just shows up and they're just like, hey. Would you rather marry your soulmate but they die in one year or be with your soulmate for one night and then be separated for the rest of your lives? I would take the one night. I don't want to kill him. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, think you're me. you're really against murder. You wouldn't yeah. even take half a million dollars. I've decided that murder's not good. No? I don't think murder's good. I think okay. I have a hunch that it's not good. I'm thinking selfishly, like I don't want to go through something as horrific as watching my true love die. Yeah. What yeah. if we're having fun? We're like, oh yay, we're like out in Miami. Look, we're parasailing, and then just like a plane comes or some shit. Like yeah. that's horrible to watch. <laughs> Why would I want that? <laughs> She's parasailing, just like low <laughs> <laughs> flying. Oh, honey, it was your time. <laughs> Why is that Southwest plane nearly hitting the water? <laughs> that pilot has a vengeance for your wife. Is like, it your dad a Southwest pilot? Yeah, it's, it's like. It's like, why did my dad yeah. kill my wife? I wish I could choose neither because I don't know if I could go on knowing that I found the person for me and just like have to find somebody else. <laughs> There's so many oh right in front of you right now. It's me. You missed that. They kissed? That was weird. Would you rather get beat up once a week by a dude named Chet for the rest of your life? <laughs> Chet? <laughs> God damn it. Or <laughs> Noah? Beat up a defenseless, adorable baby once. Oh, because you're working at that. Oh, you're working at that diaperless facility place. Oh. You're gonna beat up a baby. Beat it up. I yeah, feel like that I baby. was hit once as a baby. I definitely would have changed as a person. Maybe for the better, but definitely with a dent. <laughs> just, just a dent in your forehead right here. They know who did it because they can do fingerprints off of his forehead. <laughs> I'd get beat up. Yeah. Maybe Stockholm Syndrome would set in and I'd start to like it. <laughs> I'd beat up a baby, maybe, I don't know. Would you rather let the entire world, boyfriend, girlfriend, parents, boss, see your entire life's internet history or never use the internet again? I have I have to no. share my, my porn. I'll mm -hmm. have to share. If yeah. I just pretend it's funny, I'll be like, ah, yeah, it's fine, uh, Shrek it. I was definitely curious it's what fine. gay porn I was I like once. Shrek porn. Uh, yeah, uh, whatever. Uh, it's, no, I was looking at it because it's funny. <laughs> It's funny for him. Shane, what's your answer? Uh, yeah, I'll let everybody see it. Uh, it'll take him a long time. Last one! Yeah! Yeah! Would you rather have an itch you can't get rid of for a year or have hiccups for a year? I think hiccups are cute and funny, so hiccups. You would have to be drinking water for like seconds, at, like, Dude, I think, rather, like, I'd that's rather so cute. I'd rather, no, I'd rather have an itch because, like, I wouldn't be able to get this job if I had it's hiccup just, every like. That's it's true just, yeah. for our job's sake. I only what? get hiccups when I eat bread. You're a duck. That's why you don't <laughs> eat bread to ducks, dude. Because they get too much gas in their stomach. It depends where the itch is because probably the most uncomfortable itch would be if it was directly on your butthole for an entire year, <laughs> like just your actual butthole was itchy. Then I would choose hiccups. But every other scenario, I would choose. I would choose itch. Unless you're having butt hiccups. <laughs> your butt sucks a little bit in and then more out. <laughs> <laughs> Pooping is like an 80s sprinter, like it goes in and then back out. <laughs> okay guys, what did we learn today? I learned today Olivia was a ghost alien. That's yeah. true. I learned that you guys in a diarrhea. You guys get off on being beat up every day. Yeah, I'm pretty into it. Yeah. Uh, Olivia would be an executioner before she had to tell people they had died. <laughs> That's so true. You would sooner murder people than tell people that they're murdering themselves. I would, I, I would clean up a murder scene before I tell people <laughs> that. Noah says the worst things. I'm sorry, guys. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Our next game is called Call the Wolf. <laughs> Our buddies off screen are gonna tell us an animal, and we have to impersonate that animal. And then we get to hear from the magic box what it actually sounds like. Whoever does the best impersonation gets a point. The first animal is a camel. I've ridden a camel once, but he didn't make sounds. He just looked. <laughs> he was a really quiet hurt. guy. And then this is him drinking water. <laughs> They don't really like to make sounds, but I know how they sound like. Something oh like that. Oh my god. 
Yeah, I think you're thinking of Velociraptor. No, I swear that's how they sound alike. I believe it. These are camels with kidney stones. Yeah, that's. Are you a prisoner of Azkaban? <laughs> like a caribou? <laughs> Wait, you know what a caribou sounds like? Yeah. Have you ever seen Polar Express? Once. I told you guys. I, dude, I don't know about anyone else, but I think Shane gets a point. Shane! Hey! Shane got a point! Shane gets a point! <laughs> Yeah, but there's clearly one crazy camel in there. <laughs> An ostrich. Ooh, you look, that's. I feel like that could be pretty accurate. <laughs> that's a sassy ostrich. <laughs> they don't make a lot of noise, but they run really fast. What's the noise? No, their stride is like longer. <laughs> Dude, I think my favorite part of an ostrich is when like, you can tell when they're about to run, it's just like, <laughs> and it's like their strides like so long just goes forever and get ever. into a lamp. <laughs> they like like fan out. They're just like they're like <laughs> And they like their mouths always look like they're just like <laughs> Yeah. And it's that, like a yeah. new Drake dance move. It's like a weird. <laughs> yeah. Do it. <laughs> but it's like, oh, how how would they? It's like it's like it's like it's like. <laughs> uh, I'm just a weird chicken now. <laughs> you are. You but are. they are. They're yeah. just giant chickens. That sounds like a man. That right? was a that was a car end. That was yeah, a that man. Was, that was a seventy pinto. Mm -hmm. I don't think that was a year. Honestly, yeah. if it had just played and just went, I'm an ostrich, 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 that's I'd be like, believable. that's more believable than yeah. that. I mean, I'm not the point giver. I think we all get one because that's a fake ostrich. Yep, yeah, that's not real. <laughs> right? Yep. Point for all of us! Yay! Point, 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 point. That wasn't real! <laughs> <laughs> They're seals. But the okay, that's what, that's what I thought. That thought they were seals. So I instead of manes, they have flippers. <laughs> okay, so the, he's on the rock. Right? This guy's on the rock. Right? But he does this thing where it's like Aww. because they don't want to look around, so they're just like they're so cute. <laughs> 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 they're so cute. <laughs> I feel like that one's gonna win. Yeah, it sounds like my ex girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> I what? Wait, why didn't we know that? That's a seal, but I don't know a sea lion. Is a sea lion a seal? Okay, that's a yeah. sea lion. Here's a seal. I feel like that was really easy, and all of us missed it. Shane is the winner! Hey! Wait, Shane, I thought it was Olivia. Oh no, Shane was the deeper one. Yeah. Well, I, I was born You're with right. the higher voice. It, it unfortunately gave us a man sea lion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the start of a popular song, what does a fox sound like? That song is true. Foxes have a ton of different types of calls. Oh, so really? I have yet to see what they try to bring us through the magic box. <laughs> How many others are you gonna display? They literally, and that's just one. Oh, okay. That's just the one I'm gonna do because they have so many. Well, that's if they have around. so many, then I'm gonna take a gamble <laughs> and I'm gonna go with a very traditional fox noise. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, well, looks like it's time to get up. <laughs> that's just really disappointing. It's definitely not like mine. <laughs> I was like nobody's. Olivia with that second sound. Okay, goes Olivia. Yay! 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 That's gonna win. Shane is in the lead. Okay. But guys, this final round, winner takes all! There's 11 points up for grabs. You must act out 
and sound like a giant anteater. Wow. No. <laughs> no. Tried. Okay, they're probably just like really, really loud eaters. So it's just something like. It's probably one solid suck because they've got a long nose. So it's it's like. That's an anteater. I don't know how I'm gonna beat that, Noah. <laughs> Forgive my gestures, but the tongue goes into there, into like logs. It goes like that. <laughs> it's just like. But then he like he like sees his friend and he's just like he just like <laughs> and then like his tongue is like out there like whipping around like, like hitting other animals waking you up they're like god damn it Craig and he's just like <laughs> Okay so we let's recap what our sounds were well, how did mine go? <laughs> it was like, it was like, it was farting. Here we go. They're an anteater. What? It's, it's between these two guys. I can't tell. That is, that is a musical instrument used by Pitbull. That's Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> that honestly sounds like something from the rainforest trees. Our dictator says... Shane! Shane! <laughs> Jumanji! Do your victory mating call. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, that was went by so fast. We had so much fun on this crazy sleepover. Too many fun. God. Thank you, Noah. Thank you, Shane, for coming to our bedroom and hanging out with us and making animal sounds. And showing out their sexy pajamas. I gotta check my time. Check, check my time. Check my time. What time is it's it? Time. It's time for you guys to post in the comments who you want us to have on the show and what games we should play. Okay, but check my time again, though. Oh my god, what time is it? What it's time, time to all uh, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh. Good night, everybody. Guys, I can't sleep. Sorry. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Oh, you're a bunch of babies.